Hey everybody, Mike Dendo here. I was busy this morning checking out on uh, video game price guides, checking out to see, you know, what some of my games are worth now. I haven't really checked this out in a while. And I was shocked. That's right. Shocked. At some of the pricing that is currently going on. Some games are just blown way out of proportion now, and they really are becoming really hot collector's items. So, with that said, here is today's weekly check-in on your games collection. What I want to start doing is I want to start checking in to see what everybody's got for collections. What are the games that, for a very specific system, are worth the most in your collection? So, uh, I have chosen five titles from my collection for Nintendo. This week will be NES. The rules of the game are simple. It's not really a game. Why do I call it a game? The rules are simple. Pick five games from your Nintendo library. NES games only, no Famicom, and no accessories such as the Power Glove and the Power Pad and all that stuff. Go ahead and pull it out of your collection and either do a video response or do a comment below and let me know what games are your top five most expensive games right now. And if you are looking for some help with trying to find out, there's a website that I will put in the link below. And you can click that and search. Uh, what we're looking for primarily is loose copies. So even if you have a complete copy, your loose copy will probably be worth quite a bit as well. So we're gonna go with loose. So with no further ado, here is my five games that are worth the most for Nintendo. Alright, so we're going to start at the bottom and work our way down. First game is Rocking Cats. Rocking Cats is a game that is really fun and I've been meaning to review it. It is uh, published by Atlas and it's a really great game. So this one is worth about $30 on, on uh, video game pricing right now. Not much, but eh, that's where my lowest of the top five starts. Number four, Mega Man 6. Now this loose game, uh, I've had this for a while and it was hovering around like $20 or so, it really hasn't gone up much, but this one's at about $30 as well, $29, $30 loose, and it's a great game. It's actually one of my favorites of the Mega Man series for the classic Nintendo games, other than of course three and four. So awesome game and a pretty good price that's worth right now. I guarantee this one's gonna go up though. Next game, and this one jumps way up, is Euphoria. This is worth about a hundred or just over a hundred dollars. And Euphoria is an awesome game. It is kind of like a Metroid-ish type game with really quirky, cute characters, and it's a platformer. It's a really hard game too. And this released only in Europe and Japan. So this copy is a European cart. This one is going for about, yeah, about a hundred dollars or just over a hundred dollars right now. So pretty big jump from my collection down from the lowest, which is 30 to 100. Next game is California Raisins. Now this I actually have complete. I was able to actually win it in a auction or a bid at Too Many Games a couple years back. And it comes with, this is of course a prototype cart or a cart that uh, was reproduced and I have the full package with the manual and everything which is really cool and it's a really bad game so it's fun to kind of open up and check out and be like wow this game really sucks but it's it's cool because it's a cart for a game that was never released so really cool stuff and last but not least my copy of Power Blade 2 Power Blade 2 has spiked crazy high it's worth over $150 right now on video game pricing so I'm pretty shocked that a loose copy of this game is going for so much, especially since I paid probably about 40 or so for it. So, really cool game. And if you played the first one, that one's probably going to jump too. But that's pretty much it for the games that are in my collection, the top five games. Post comments below and let me know what are your top five, 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 most expensive video games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And if you want to make a video response, that'd be awesome too. I'd like to check it out and see what kind of condition they're in and see what you got. Thanks for watching again. Stay tuned. There's more coming on the way as well as a brand new episode of Dude, You Haven't Played This Game. So stay tuned.